This is Focus 94.3 FM. Exploding the universe. YouTube.com slash John Mensa TH. What's up? This guy, I nickname Lady Sport. <laughs> Charlie, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Studio Focus FM. Man. Good to have you back again. Thank you. And it's great to be back on your show. And I always want to tell you that you're a ladies' poet. Because I've been at your shows. You know, I've been at your shows before. And uh, the last time at uh, someone and friends, Charlie, there were ladies were behind. Hey, Charlie, this day, this guy. All right. Oh, yeah. Don't waste time. Don't talk. (laughs) Let's do something. Okay. So, did you ever feel you didn't belong? So, in an attempt to belong, you do things you don't really want to do. But only because you're cool, you go on ahead. If then, listen attentively, because what feels my words as I lay them down to you is passion. Passion based on what I believe is my conviction to break free of the chains that hold me, the addictions to the sins of this world, the stealing, the lying, the cheating, and the indignation. Because when I put them together, a church boy and his predilection to fornication, I just can't seem to get the result of the addition story of my life if only i was a little bit stronger between you and i i believe i wouldn't have lost my one direction so let me take you to how it all started i met this daughter of eve on 31st december new year's eve right away i marked her in my book because i knew she was mine and not the job of steve so i approached her with the classic line hoping she'd give me the tickets to an airwave so i said hello i've been reading through the book of numbers but it so happens i don't have yours it seems my waist tickled because she giggled and I happened to get a name and number without having to higgle. First thing I was in church with no intention to mingle, but here I was about to leave no longer single. But truth be said, I only approached her because her body was banging like a jingle, playing symphonies in my mind the very second I saw her giving me those singles. But if only I was a little bit stronger, she wouldn't have caused me to standardly deviate because I was too busy memorizing her vital statistics. And like a television without an antenna, she left me shh, static. Static to the point of electronic addiction to her. I guess that was the reason I was always e static. But after all this long struggle, I won a heart, like independence. But rather sooner than later, like electricity nowadays, she began acting on and off. Her moods were erratic. She often gave me no attention like I was a picanto and she found herself a mercedes formatic. No need for clutch, she just accelerated like it was automatic. And then I got played like flappy beds, which was drastic. So stupid was I that I blamed Cupid. But back to her, she wasn't cold. She had the heart of the Arctic, inching me up to the point where I thought revenge was going to be fantastic. But fast forward, I found another. This one actually thought I was Azan, but I assured her I was Leyland because I wanted her to give me love like at Sheeran. So I was constantly vibing her so she could fall for me and I could later share him. She was nothing like the other, who like a fear, only treated me like a brother. But she did strike me though as a mother because she cared too much and was constantly a bother. She'd call, check up on me via text, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm sure to her if I was a bank, I was royal. She wanted to get me to the point where I'd fall for her. But thanks to Chris Brown, I knew all these girls still weren't loyal. In fact, come to think of it, why give a girl your heart when she'd rather have your purse? But take a long second and pause. I was taking advice from a bottle of shittle when I could have gone to the Holy Bible, the right source. But if only I was a little bit stronger, I wouldn't have broken the broken to make up for the breakup that broke me. I said I wouldn't have broken the broken to make up for the breakup that broke me. She was merely a scapegoat who couldn't escape my deceitful loop, like a chick trapped in the coop awaiting the Christmas soup. And now according to plan, she was way into me, but I wasn't into her like the way she was into me. So she thought taking off her clothes to get me into her would get me into her, but it didn't. It pushed my interest out of her. In fact, what was I to do when she presented herself like Nike? I just had to do it. The succeeding days I merely hesitated. And then like the beast that I was, I tore has to shreds. And that was even understated. Rejected and dejected after all the heartache had subjected her to. Now, this was the story of a church boy who didn't pray and fell prey to one particular vice. See, my mind only served as a vice which could operate the whole fornication device. 
But in my defense, it only started as an innocent thought. And then I allowed lust to form my thoughts for as long as I could remember. See, I left my first love and joined the last love and made myself a lifelong member. And this even reflected in the things I did last December. So I guess at this point, saying I'm sorry for the things I've done would be as cliche as the relationship status of most of you listening here. Single. But I'm still gonna go ahead, cause it's just not for me. It's for every heart that has ever been broken and for anybody who has broken a heart. And to those who are standing by can still relate. I don't want to keep making mistakes, like breathing air is to human, though I know to air is human. I know I can do this because I'm safely soaked in his blood and carried under the cross so he can say I'm carried under it because I know definitely and surely Jesus would take the wheel. So even on my weakest of days, I know deep down in my heart that I get a little bit stronger. Thank you. YouTube.com slash John Mensa TH This is the reality of love show I give you all of me And you give me all, you give me all